One of the reasons I bought a Raspberry Pi was to have a go with some electronics projects. There's something really quite exciting about writing some code that will affect something physical like an LED. The Raspberry Pi starter kit A from SK Pang has everything you need to get started with these kinds of projects and they've got some instructions on their website as well. The biggest part of the kit is a housing for the Pi that will hold both the Pi and the breadboard that holds the electronic components in place. The housing is made from two bits of clear plastic with four risers. I'm really pleased that it's clear plastic because it means you can still admire the Pi while you're using it. Assembly is easy, just be aware that the plastic risers have a small slot that holds the Pi in place, so you do need to pay attention to which way up they go in. The only problem I had is that one riser is just a little too close to the HDMI socket for the right angle plug on my monitor. I've removed it without any problems, but just moving the holes by half a centimetre would have solved this. The breadboard itself simply sticks onto the open air of the housing with a large sticker. The best thing about using a breadboard is that you don't have to use a soldering iron to create projects. Components simply push into the holes. All the holes in a row are connected and that's how the components are connected to each other, as I'll show in a minute. There are instructions for a couple of projects on the SK Pang website, including a traffic light project. As we don't have any traffic lights to hand, we'll complete it with the supplied LEDs. The diagram on the SK Pang website explains which pins on the GPIO header to use. Now you need to pay careful attention to this because you can break the Pi if you get it wrong. And make sure the Pi is off when you start doing this. Once everything is connected, start the Pi and the Raspbian interface. The instructions assume that you haven't installed any of the Python software needed to access the GPIO pins. So start the terminal and type the commands as they're printed on the SKPang website. Rather than making you type in the whole program by hand, there's a quick command you can use called wget that's the quickest way to copy the traffic light program to your Pi. Now type the command to start the program and enjoy the show. The sudo command is required because we're accessing the GPIO pins. If you want to look at how the program works, type leafpad traffic underscore light dot py to open it in the text editor supplied with the Pi. Alternatively, you might find it easier to type idle traffic underscore light dot py to open it in the Python software so that the code is coloured and easier to read. You can find more articles about the Raspberry Pi on our tag page at www.computeractive.co.uk slash tag slash raspberry hyphen pi.